close your eyes. Let my words wash over you. You are safe now. Welcome to Night Vale. Local historians are protesting the removal of the shape in Grove Park that no one acknowledges or speaks about. While their protest has been hampered by the fact that none of them will acknowledge or speak about it, they did, through a system of gestures and grimaces, convey the message that, whatever the shape is and whatever its effect on nearby neighborhoods, it is a Night Vale landmark and should be protected. The shape itself offered no comment, only a low moaning and gelatinous quiver. The city council would not provide any reason for the removal, but did say that any work in Grove Park was making way for a new swing set, picnic area, and bloodstone circle, which we all can agree are good contributions to the community. The Night Vale Green Market Co-op announced today that after 15 years, they will begin selling fruits and vegetables. Green Market Board President Tristan Cortez said that recent customer surveys indicated that shoppers have grown tired of empty pickup trucks and vacant tents lining the City Hall parking lot every Sunday morning in the summer and fall. Cortez said that research indicates consumers are more likely to buy products if they are available and for sale, and that green market and grocery shoppers tend to purchase food items. Cortez said that the decision to sell food at the green market was a controversial one, as many board members and co-op shareholders feel fruit and vegetable sales will interfere with their ongoing secretive domestic espionage operations. When reached for comment, our source within the secret police only breathed heavily into the phone while tapping an as yet uncracked code into the receiver. Michael Sandero, starting quarterback for the Night Vale Scorpions, has reportedly grown a second head. It is not currently known whether this is a result of the previously reported lightning strike or just another odd coincidence in the kid's odd life. People in the know say that the new head is better looking and smarter than the first one, and even Michael's mother has issued a statement indicating that she likes it much better than her son and that she will be changing the rankings on the public which of my children I like best board outside her house. Sendero could not be reached for comment. Probably. We didn't try. Friends, listeners, there's a real tarantula problem here in Night Vale. Many residents have called in to report that illiteracy unwanted pregnancy and violent crime are on the rise in the tarantula communities. Animal Control is addressing these concerns through after-school programs called Teach a Spider to Read, Stop the Madness. Those interested in volunteering should stand in their bathtubs and weep until it is all gone. Nothing left. You can let go now. Let go. Shh. Let go. And now a message from our sponsor. Tired of your home? Sick of comfort? Come to the hole in the vacant lot out back of the Ralphs and huddle with us. Who are we? Good question. Come to the hole in the vacant lot out back of the Ralphs and huddle with us. Why do we want you to come? Why did we spend money for this airtime? We understand you are confused. But, whole, vacant lot, Ralph's, 
Huddle us for the low, low price. Act today or tomorrow, not Wednesday. Wednesday is no good for us. Anyway, we're almost out of air time, so just come on down to the hole in the vacant lot out back of the Ralphs and huddle with us. Or else. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Ladies and gentlemen, the rumor mill is a buzz. We've had a celebrity sighting in our little burg. Old woman Josie and one of her angeled friends reportedly saw Rita Hayworth getting gas at the fuel and go over by the bowling alley. Rita Hayworth, ladies and gentlemen, right here in Nightvale. Can you believe it? Old woman Josie said Rita was looking a bit older, moderately obese, and considerably more Hispanic, but the angel assured her it was indeed Rita. He is an angel, after all. He would know, right? Wow. Rita Hayworth, right here in Nightvale. Just imagine. Update on the shape formerly in Grove Park that no one acknowledges or speaks about. It seems the city council, in their superhuman mercy and all-seeing glory, have chosen to move the shape directly in front of our own radio station, where it is continuing to be what can only be described as indescribable. The shape was not available for comment as I could find no one willing to speak to it, or even meet my eye when I mentioned it. It has occurred to me that I may be the only one able to see it. Now that I think about it, I have also never bothered to actually check whether this mic is attached to any sort of recording or broadcasting device. And it is possible that I am alone in an empty universe, speaking to no one, unaware that the world is held aloft merely by my delusions and my smooth, sonorous voice. More on this story as it develops, I say, possibly only to myself. The Night Vale Community Theatre is holding auditions for its fall show, Once on This Island. Interested thespians should bring a headshot and resume to the Recreation Center Auditorium on Thursday night. All auditionees must perform a one-minute monologue and sing one song. Bring sheet music if you would like piano accompaniment. Auditionees will also be required to do a cold reading and give blood and stool samples along with mandatory radiation testing following the auditions. Do not sing anything from South Pacific. People of color are urged to audition as Night Vale Community Theater is an equal opportunity employer. Also, actors with long range sniper training, Fortran computer programming, and top-notch wilderness survival skills are a plus. Final casting will be announced in secret via dirigible. No one can ever know. Update on the green market situation from earlier in our broadcast. Everything is exactly the same as when we last reported on it. There is no new information. Listeners, do you ever think about the moon. I was sitting outside last night, looking at the moon, and I thought, does anyone actually know what that thing is? Have there been any studies on this? I went to ask Carlos, but he hasn't been seen much since that treacherous Telly's vile haircut. The moon's weird though, right? It's there and there, and then suddenly it's not and it seems to be pretty far up. Is it watching us? If not, what is it watching instead? Is there something more interesting than us? Hey, watch us, Moon. We may not always be the best show in the universe, but we try. This has been today's Children's Fun Fact Science Corner. <laughs>